Hi, my name is Omishalaido Paul. You're welcome to my channel. Thanks for visiting. Okay, so today what I'm going to be showing us is how to uh, compute the logistic regression in Python. Okay, uh, logistic regression is used when the aim is to compare two categorical variables um, in which one is an independent and the other is the dependent variable, although we can have more than one independent variable. Okay. So I'm going to be walking us through uh, how, how we can do that in a few minutes. Okay, so what I've done so far is, to, is that I've imported a library, uh, but uh, the focus is uh, statmodels.api, which contains uh, the library that contains the regression model, then uh, the formula libraries from the statmodels that contains uh, the uh, regression uh, that can allow me to uh, you know compute the formula for the regression model later on so what I want to do now is that I want to I have uh, data that that contains the adenovirus prevalence uh, the value of, for different individuals okay so uh, but what I want to do is that I want to check the title of each columns by viewing the null values of uh, the whole data frame okay so you can pause the video and write the write down the code or you can write it in uh, in any editor or uh, in your python shell to see if you are actually correct with my own code ok so I'm just going to say print uh, I'm going to say print uh, df that is null and I'm going to open up a bracket an empty argument then uh, no, it's null dot, dot, dot sum ok so if I do that, let's see what we have. Okay, let's see what we have. It's running. So um, while that is running, I would like to import another library which uh, I will use to, you know, transform uh, the each of the columns that I want to work with into uh, a readable format, a string. Uh, which is the readable format format for the start model that I want to use in this uh, particular uh, tutorial? So I'm going to say from from sklen so dot preprocessing sorry unexpected you have while passing yeah but it's not sorry I was supposed to close this so I'll, I'll, I'll run that again later. Okay, so from SKLAN, the preprocessing, um, let's say import label encoder. Okay, so let's run this, let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to say, I'm going to define not label encoder, I want to pass it as number. So it was label encoder okay so here we have um, we can see we have the different uh, what is it called the different independent variables up here and uh, we have the uh, dependent variable down here which is the result okay so uh, the result is dependent on these uh, these factors up here but what I want to do in this tutorial is just to check the relationship between the cleaning rate and the prevalence of adenovirus. I want to see how cleaning rate signi uh, uh, predict uh, results. The results. I want to see if it's significant or not. So I've passed. I've said uh, label encoder. Okay. So I want to decode. Uh, so that the reason why I want to do that is because uh, by the time I finish the decoding uh, or the encoding rather results we have positive and negative results so that I will have positive results as one and I'll have a negative result as two and here the cleaning rate we have uh, the cleaning rate for uh, uh, one one time uh, one once in a week then twice in a week and three times in a week if it's once in a week then I'm going to have one return to me if it's two times I'm going to have two return to me and if it's three times I'm going to have three returned to me okay so what i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to say df into into cleaning but let me let me 
let me run result first it doesn't matter which one I run first but the number dot feed uh, underscore transform transform okay to df then uh, uh result uh, result okay then dot as type uh, I want to convert it to a string str so without wasting much of our time I'm just going to copy this whole thing and I'm going to paste it down here then I'm going to change this to cleaning then I'll change this to cleaning okay so um, as that so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to define a model formula say equals SMF dot logit uh, into the formula equal to and going to use a double uh, quote there equal to uh, result and um, as this for me and say plus um, cleaning so since the result is a dependent variable it's the one that will come first and uh, cleaning is an independent variable it will come uh, next to it I will say the data data equals df I will say we come out then we say dot our parts dot feet say an empty argument and we now print uh, print uh, model dot summary print model summary so let's see what we have here all right so let's see what we have okay so this is our result we can see that uh, the p-value here is that's our, our focus we can actually see the coefficient of uh, correlation here uh, we can see uh, 0 0.0782 well this is our uh, it shows that there is actually a uh, positive uh, uh, correlation between uh, both of them well but this p-value is telling us is showing us 0 0.758 that means there is no significant uh, predict prediction that means there is no significant relationship between the cleaning rate of the participants and the uh, prevalence of adenovirus that means uh, uh, the cleaning rate does not significantly predict uh, the prevalence of adenovirus all right so the next thing i'm going to do let's see what we can do with this data we we can actually compute the host ratio from this okay Hot ratio is just uh, is just a particular uh, test that that gives that returns to us uh, or that tells us the hot of having a particular uh, 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 you know exposure the, based on a on a particular uh, outcome. Okay, that's the correct way of stating hot ratio. So it's just um, a way of checking the reduction and uh, the risk reduction or the risk increment the risk level okay based on each of the uh, cleaning weights all right so let's let, let's do something with this so that it will make more sense to you so what i'm just saying is that okay let's let's compute it first so i'd like to pass that as model odds uh say model odds equals uh pd dot export Sorry, and not before I export the data frame, the data frame, then I'll say np dot export dot export the model dot param. That's how we export in Python dot params. Then comma. Then we say columns equals. Uh, um, 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 odd ratio O oh, R. So, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say model model odds 
color holds into um, the z value so I'm going to like to define the z value and now I'm going to say equal to uh, model dot p values p values okay so I'm going to say model odds model underscore odds into I'm um, going to define uh, confidence I'm sorry uh, 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 um, confidence interval yes so I'm going to define a confidence interval it's 2.5 percent and comma 97.5 percent okay so I'll say equal to equal to mp dot export it as a so model model dot configure it uh, underscore integer okay then I'm going to the next thing we are going to do is we are done with it so we just print what we print model underscore odds okay so let's print the model underscore odds let's print the model underscore odds let's see what we have all right so this is what we have for the model underscore odds well if you look at this uh, is our focus the hot ratio we can see the hot ratio here okay so the host ratio is 1.081 uh, okay this well this cleaning out ratio well it doesn't really make much sense to me what I will just what I wanted to check is I wanted to check the rate the different rate of cleaning I wanted to see uh, the risk reduction or the risk increment for the different uh, uh, rate of cleaning I wanted to see if uh, you know the rate of cleaning for uh, uh, once in a week we reduce the risk of having adenovirus or it will increase it and uh, the, the same thing with twice a week and three times a week so uh, what I want to what I will now do is uh, uh, mind you risk reduction is one minus odds ratio so for this the risk is not reducing actually I would say the risk is rather increasing so the risk for this one is one minus the 1.08132 that's going to be the risk reduction is 0 .0 uh, 0.081 that's we can multiply it by 100 that's uh, it it's the risk increment is 8.132 percent so uh, for us to have a clearer view you can just put this in the bracket and say convert okay so you're going to see what I, I was talking about in a clearer view now okay we if now yeah we can see that we have a more clearer view so this is what i was talking about i said uh, uh, the reason why I, I converted them is because i wanted to see the cleaner this is once per week this is twice this one is this one is twice per week and this is uh three times per week all right so for one time per week uh, yeah we have a risk increment of about 38 percent so we can see 1 minus 1.379 is going to give us approximately uh, um, 0 0.38 times 100. That's 38% increment if you're washing once. But if you're washing twice, we have a risk reduction of 47.1%. Uh, but uh, if, you, if you're washing three times, we uh, actually have a risk increment. I, I mean if you are cleaning three times in a uh, in a week you are cleaning your environment three times in a week we have uh, a risk increment of us uh, about 63 percent so uh, so if you're cleaning two times you have a risk reduction if you are cleaning one time you have a risk increment but uh, lower than when you are cleaning uh, three times so you, this is what we have for the hot ratio all right so if you like the video you can just uh, subs uh like click on like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching uh, have a nice day